Hey guys, so today I will be reviewing a LEGO Star Wars set. This is Jabba's Sail Barge. It's set number 75020. Comes with 850 pieces, 6 minifigures, and it is recommended for ages 9 to 14. And this set came out all the way back in 2013, 6 years ago, and it retailed for 120 US dollars at the time. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the minifigures. Our first minifigure is the Wee Quay Guard, and I will start out by saying this is actually a pretty cool minifigure. His face print is really nice, I really like the way his eyes and mouth turned out, and he has a lot of great detailing for his wrinkles. His torso print is simple, but, I, but it is accurate to the movie, and also there's something about those uh, super light blue arms that I just really like. He doesn't have any printing on his legs, just a simple tan leg piece. And spinning him around, you can see that he does have some ponytails on his head. Uh, the print starts on his head for kind of like where the ponytails are all wrapped up. And then the hair does continue down onto his torso print. And overall, just a very nice print. You can see it is covering up uh, some of the detailing that would be for his kind of, I'll call it a jacket, I guess. And then he also has a small little utility belt at the bottom. And he does get an axe accessory that is actually built onto a spear piece. So you can see it, it's a Lego spear with like the little axe head piece clipped on. And overall, very nice minifigure, like the way this one turned out. Let's go ahead and move on to Max Rebo. Max Rebo kind of steals the show with this set because of that headpiece. That headpiece is amazing. It is kind of a soft rubber, so you can bend it. And, I mean, it is just perfect. <laughs> like, that molding is just amazing. He has some great little details uh, just kind of molded into that. And nothing on his torso or his legs, but they are a great color. And there you can see just the molded detail on the back of his head is amazing. And overall, this figure is just so good. I love it. And it is by far the standout figure of the set. I mean, come on, just just look at that face. Riyiz is up next, and he is also an amazing minifigure. Now, his torso print isn't really that exciting, although it is good. And he just comes with a standard blaster piece. But where this minifigure really shines is that head mold. Oh, it is amazing. It has a lot of great details um, molded in, like on the ears and underneath the jaw. And also, he just has that... The mold for the eyes is just amazing. Like, this figure is just great. And spinning him around, you can see the amazing molding continues onto the back. And he also has just a little bit of back printing. But if it weren't for Max Rebo, this guy would definitely be the best minifigure in the set. But he holds second place only to Max Rebo, but he is a fantastic minifigure. So let's move on to Princess Leia. So this was the first Slave Leia released since 2006, and I think it was a great update to that original minifigure. The detailing on her torso was greatly improved, and her leg printing is also a lot better than the original version. And she also gets the, the new-ish version of the Leia print uh, for her face. This was introduced in about 2011, I believe, and it was only recently changed. Uh, the torso print is very nice, I like all the gold coloring. And spinning her around, you can see she does get an exclusive hair piece. And her ponytail does curve around this little uh, neck bracket piece, which I will show you what that is for in a minute. And she does have some nice gold t detailing up uh, on top of her hair. And if I remove her hair piece, you can see she does have an alternate face. That's probably when she is rescued. She is a little happy. And taking off the neck bracket piece, which is really on there. There we go. You can see she just has some very minor back torso detailing. And I'm not going to bother to put this figure back together since it would take a while. But overall, Leia is a great minifigure and a great update to the original. R2 is not technically a minifigure, but is still included in the set. And this is the standard R2 that was used from about 2012 to 2014, I want to say. Uh, so nothing really too unique about this guy in terms of his printing, just kind of standard. But he does get the dark tan plate uh, in between his body and head. That carries the drinks for guests on the sail barge. So you get a regular clear cup, a wine bottle, and then a wine glass on this side. 
and you can see the printing on his headpiece does continue all the way around. So nothing too much going on with R2 here, just technically an exclusive variant because of the pieces in between, but there's really nothing exclusive about his printing. But still, he is cool to get in the set, and it is kind of funny to see this variant of R2. Job is not technically a minifigure and would definitely not fit on the stand, so we're going to do this kind of like he's a side build. But, uh, this piece, or pieces for Jabba, were introduced in 2012 for the Jabba's Palace set and then reused here, and Jabba has not been seen since. But Jabba is two pieces, or technically three because of the pin, but his body is two. I'm just going to remove the chain for the moment. So the lower piece is his kind of tail and his body, and then you put this uh, like half axle, half pin piece in the hole, and then you put on kind of the, his upper body and head. And the detailing on this figure for Jabba is much improved from the original Jabba version. He has a tattoo on his left arm, and on his right he has nothing. He has some uh, lines along his body just to kind of show like all of his fat. And you can have him sitting like this, or you can turn him like this, and it actually looks like he is slithering forward. And you can have him sitting this way as well, but I personally think that looks a little weird. And then, spinning him back around, you will notice that I ripped off this chain piece. And this is the chain that he holds Leia onto, so you can have Jabba hold it. And then the chain attaches to the back uh, neck brace that Leia has. And now she is changed to Jabba and cannot escape, and she also loses her hair. So, overall, Jabba is a great update from the 2006 version, and, I, I mean, Max Rebo was pretty cool, but Jabba's uh, up there with the uh, cool figures in the set. And I believe that is it for the figures, so let's move on to the sail barge. So, here is the sail barge itself. And it looks pretty big next to a minifigure, but it's actually not that big. Like, if I put my hand against it, it, it's pretty small, a lot smaller than the 2006 version. But that does not automatically make it a bad set, because it has some great little details, and it is built up very well. So, we'll go ahead and start off at the front and kind of work our way around. And the front, I personally like a lot better than the 2006 version. Uh, it has a lot of great sloping and gradually comes down, a lot better than the really steep uh, build that they did on the 2006 version. And you'll notice that the middle of this is a lot different than the rest of it, and that is because there's actually a play feature built in here. So basically what you do is you just take this, uh, the front tile overhangs just a little bit. What you do is you take that and flip it up, and a cannon pops out. So this cannon is in no way cannon, but it is still a nice build and adds a nice little play feature. And I assume there was supposed to be something inside there, but I did buy the set used. But you can put a uh, cylinder in there, pull this back, and it will fire out. And then if I just lower the camera and zoom in, you can see what the front of the sail barge looks like. So it is completely dedicated to this cannon. There's nothing else in there. And you can see that's how it slides out, and then you just flip this down, and the cannon slides right back in. So moving along the side here, you can see there is uh, just a little bit of detail. These are stickered pieces. There are four on each side. And then here there are some windows that you can actually flip open, but it is very hard to do uh, from the outside. So I'll show, you, I'll show you how to open those once we actually get inside the thing. Moving right along. You can see that there are these like little winglets here that you can move out and adjust in many different ways. So you can have it all folded back looking weird like that. Or I personally display it like this just for space, uh, flat and flush against the rest of the barge. But more accurately, you can have it displayed like that. Then you'll notice that these windows do get some sticker detailing on them. There's a lot of stickers. And then there's also like a little overhang above these windows, just I guess to shield out the sun or something, but these windows do not get it. And then moving this thing around to the back, I'm going to have to zoom out. Uh, the back is built completely differently than the rest of the craft. That's just to get the very rounded look that this thing has. 
and this is supposed to look like a window, but this one does not open up. You can see there's more of these little details uh, around the bottom. This, I don't really, really don't know what this is supposed to be, maybe a little AC unit or something. And then here, this panel is identical to the one on this side. And then I don't really know what's up with these gray things sticking out back here. I mean, maybe you're supposed to hold it from that, but these kind of bend in, actually. You can see that there. So I don't really know what this is supposed to be. I guess it's just how it had to be built. And then this side is completely identical to the side, uh, to the other side. And I guess that is it for the exterior of the craft. So we'll go ahead and move on to the roof. So the roof is pretty simple. You do get the large pieces up, or large kind of, not fabric, it's kind of like a weird plastic kind of material uh, for the sails. And these can be rotated. Uh, they are on ball joints that break off easily. <laughs> Come on, there we go. So these things can be rotated. Uh, you can have them looking like that. And so you can just angle them with the wind. And then there is a giant cannon up top that looks like you might be able to get a minifigure on the side if we just take his axe out. Let's see. I haven't actually tried this, so we're going to see. So it looks a little weird, but you can get a minifigure on the cannon. And these are flick missiles, so I'm not actually going to flick it. I'll just push it, but you flick that. And that actually went really far away. So, then you can just load it back in like that. And we'll zoom in on the roof a little bit, just so you can see that cannon better. Don't really like that exposed tan piece, but not much you can do about that. And the exposed red piece is a little weird, but eh, it's not that big of a deal. And then this way, you can see there is another cannon, which I will spin this around for. And this one looks a little more realistic since it is built into the hull of the thing. And this can rotate up and down and side to side like this. And you can attach a minifigure back here. And there is a railing along the front of the barge. It is like one of the flexi two pieces. Then you can see there is like a big kind of like grill piece up top where the um, sail is clipped into. And last thing for the exterior of the barge, you can see something just fell out. But there are, what is that, eight wheels on the bottom, so you can roll this thing along. So that's nice, because then it'll roll nice on smooth surfaces, and pretty much every surface, because there's wheels. But this thing can sail along your dune sea. So that is it for the exterior of the sail barge. Let's go inside. So, opening this thing up is very easy. All you do is flip these two side panels down, flip the three in the back down. I will have to move this just a little bit closer so I can open up the rear. But then you just open up the two on the other side, just like that. You notice the roof is moving, and that is because that pops right off to allow easy access into the interior. And before we go inside, inside, I will just show you that these windows, all you do is push on the back here, and you can get these to open up, just like that. So that's, just thought I'd show you that while we are, while we have this flipped down. Let's go ahead and zoom in, and tell you what, we will start in the back here with Max Rebo's piano. And this is a nice little build, and if you get Max Rebo, flip his arms up. He can fit in just like that and start jamming out. It's a nice little build. Simple, but it looks good. And then here is kind of Jabba's throne. Kind of looks weird. <laughs> it's just some tiles and a jumper plate. But basically that jumper goes right in there. And you, what you have to do is take Jabba, slide his tail through, and place him on the jumper. And then Leia, I like to position uh, right above about there because then she can look through this window if it is opened up. And then moving right along over here is a little kitchen area and there is something cooking on the stove and my complaint about this is that this can fall out really easily. That's actually what fell out when I flipped the thing over to show you the wheels. And then there is a fish and a drumstick and then there is a little container here that has a fairly common print. If anybody wants to translate the Arbesh, feel free. Nothing inside, but I guess you can put that little blue thing in to stop it from flying around. 
and then there is a single little frying pan on the side and before I get to the jail cell I forgot to, I didn't realize this when I showed you the cannon there is the ammunition so you get four of these cylinders to use with your cannon so if you lose a few that's okay you have extra and Leia's jail cell is a nice build uh, this side you get two kind of bar fence pieces and on this side you get a door that can open up just like that so pretty simple but if we flip this around which might be a little difficult hold on there we go you see there's nothing on this side to stop Leia from getting out but we're just gonna put re re's in but this is just for ease of access for play and then R2 there's no good spot for R2 to go so we'll put him next to Jabba like that so you can get all of your figures on or in the sail barge and then to close this thing up I would recommend putting the roof back on first and this goes on there is a jumper plate right back here and you just want to line that up with the edge of this 2x3 and if you do that the rest of your roof will go on very easily and then I'd recommend flipping up the sides first We'll go ahead and open up these windows so you can see inside. These windows are not connected, so you can open up just one if you want to. And we're going to move this little blue thing out of the way. And then you finish putting this thing back together by flipping up the three rear panels. So that is the sail barge. Let's go ahead and close out the video. So overall, I think this is a very good set. I really can't think of anything to complain about actually like this set is good I mean the minifigure selection is nice there's really nothing that they could have added because the year previous in 2012 they released a desert skiff that had Boba, Han, Lando and Luke so they really couldn't have added those minifigures in and the selection that we got is good and fills up the sail barge and if you have the desert skiff you really just completed the entire scene and the build itself is great. There's no flaws with it. I like all the play features. It opens up very nicely for play. And it also looks great closed up on display. Now, a lot of you who are considering buying this set may ask the question, well, this or the 2006? And I really can't answer that because I don't have the 2006. But compared to what I've seen with videos and pictures, I honestly think the 2013 one is better. I like the uh, shaping for the front on the 2013 one more than the 2006, and the minifigure selection is definitely a lot better with this model. So overall, I would recommend this set if you see it on eBay for a reasonable price, uh, keeping in mind this retailed for 120 so I would say uh, anywhere below 200 is definitely a good value for this set. So I really like this set, and you guys can let me know what you think of it, either by voting in the card in the top right hand corner of the video or by leaving a comment down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave a like on the video. And as always, please share the video with your friends as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.